Hello and welcome to BQ Prime. A very good morning to all the viewers. I am Hira Dadia. You're watching Stocks and Focus with mid caps and small caps that continue to remain uh, in focus amongst investors. One such company is Vascon Engineers, where the stock has actually more than doubled in the last six months. Let's understand from the management as to what are the key triggers. Uh, that are leading to this outperformance and what's in store from here on. Joining us is Siddharth Vasudevan, Managing Director at Vascon Engineers. Siddharth, uh, good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning and thank you for having me. Always a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, Siddharth, overall, I think the last time when we spoke around as well, uh, clearly the target was 4,000 odd crores in terms of order book by the end of the fiscal uh, currently at the run rate that you are seeing, uh, is that something which is achievable or you think you'll be able to surpass that and there could be a revision? So we will definitely be uh, very close to the 4,000 crore mark. Uh, you know, we're quite optimistic about few of the, uh, you know, orders that we have bid for, uh, even though we have to come L1 and get these orders, but uh, I'm very confident that we will get them. Right. So, so currently, what's the order book looking like and how far are we from the 4,000 number? So currently, the order book is around 2,400 uh, crores. 2,450 crores is where we are right now. Uh, and this is also because of the three orders that we bagged recently, which is uh, the Bihar hospital, which is approximately 600 crores. Uh, we have a police housing that was given to us by PMRDA. Uh, which is approximately 100 crores and a police housing coming from the police department in Pune for around 348 crores. Okay. And out of this, uh, what percentage continues to remain from government projects? So, uh, like last time, we are at around 75 to 77 percent when it comes to government projects. And okay. even going for the order intake, uh, we're predominantly bidding for government projects. So uh, I, I foresee that this number will be constant uh, uh -huh. you know, towards the, the year when we get to our target. Right. Uh, Siddharth, overall, what's the kind of trans, you know, I mean, the revenue transition, uh, translation out of this 5,000 crores, uh, sorry, 4,000 odd crores in FY24 itself? So, so this year, of course, most of these jobs, once we get them, it takes between three and six months for work to site, uh, work to start on site. Uh, this is predominantly because of the paperwork and uh, the back end work that happens uh, with the client. Uh, so, you know, so this year we will not execute much of these orders that we get, but in FY24 on a thumb rule basis, we end up. Uh, you know, uh, executing around 30 to 35 percent of our current order books. So we'll be executing around 1000 crores plus just from the EPC segment. OK, so that's the target from EPC. How is real estate looking like? Yeah, so, so real estate, of course, we uh, we will be launching Santa Cruz. We will be launching Pawai in Mumbai. We have a couple of launches that are lined up in Pune as well. Uh, the the challenge in real estate, of course, is that because we follow the completion method, so these numbers will come into our balance sheet only between 24 and 36 months from now. So, uh, you know, even though the execution will happen in 23, 24, even though our sales will happen in 23, 24, but the revenue will be recognized only uh, in 25. So would it be right to say that around 150 to 100 odd crores continues to remain uh, the number in FI24 as well in terms of revenue from real estate? Yes, that would be a fair state. Okay. And then once these new projects are recognized, how much contribution from in terms of revenues are you seeing from real estate in FI25 and FI26, taking into consideration the majority uh, projects that are coming in? So uh, our launches are almost to the extent of 2 million square feet. Uh, how much we, uh, you know, so we we will not want to sell the entire 2 million square feet upfront uh, for strategic purposes, because if there is any escalation in cost of raw materials, then, uh, you know, we can't go back to our clients for escalation. So we, so we will hold certain inventories uh, till the end and monetize that towards 
towards the end as a strategy itself. But having said that, we we anticipate that at least 70 to 75 percent of this will be sold. Okay. And uh, in terms of the pipeline with regards to real estate as well, uh, what areas and regions are you focusing on? So our home base, of course, is Pune. So this is our bread and butter area. Hmm. Uh, we're looking at uh, predominantly the east east side of Pune. But we've also expanded into Coimbatore. We already have an ongoing project in, in Coimbatore that's more than two-thirds sold. And we are also looking for joint ventures and we're actively pursuing joint ventures uh, in Coimbatore as well. Okay. And uh, yeah. overall, apart from that, GMP Technical Solutions, which is 85% subsidiary of Vascon, uh, clearly yeah. there were plans to divest that business. Uh, what's the status of that? So we haven't, uh, like I told you last time as well, we're uh, we're looking at it in an oppor opportunistic way. And in the meanwhile, we're also growing the company. So we've just inaugurated our fourth uh, manufacturing unit in, in Mohali. Uh, this aug augments us with a top line revenue of approximately 120 crores a year uh, once it's fully operational. So, uh, you know, we're bullish on it. So, and we will continue to grow it till we get the right investor for it. Okay. So overall, uh, what's the contribution right now to revenues and what's the valuation that you're looking at in terms of divestment? So uh, last year, GMP did approximately 240 or 250 crores uh, as their annual turnover. Mm. Uh, you know, that, that's what we got from, uh, from them. This this year we'll be looking at at least uh, you know 20 percent more uh, coming from that okay and from the uh, bank guarantee perspective you were looking at increasing that number as well where does it stand now uh, so be between the last time we spoke and today we've actually tied the 50 crore pro portion that was untied from karnataka bank hmm. uh, so in our in the EPC business of 50 crore tie up gives us around the opportunity to bid for another 500 crores on this. Our lead bankers are SBI and our assessments are due in end of October, early November. And we have asked them to increase our limits by 150 crores. And they seem to be quite positive about it as well. So uh, that is where we stand on the bank guarantee. And, and by and, when do you expect it to be increased to 150 odd crores? So they'll have their assessment in November and okay. typically that's happening. And we have also proactively been speaking to other banks to ensure that once the enhance, enhancement happens, uh, you know, the this portion is tied up very quickly. Hmm. And the other thing I wanted to check with you, so that is from a revenue and margin and profitability perspective. Uh, if you see the first quarter numbers, around 200 odd crores is the top line, margins of around 7.1, which had seen a slight dip, and a profit number of around 11 to 12 odd crores. Now, if you have to see uh, FY24 as a year, will it be a similar run rate, or do you think it will be higher from an execution perspective, taking into consideration that we are aiming at a 4,000 crore order book? Yes, so generally Q1 is the most challenging quarter that we face because of the monsoons and because work does not happen at the same pace uh, on site. Now this moves on to a bit of Q2 as well with the rains e extending into September. Uh, but, you know, going forward, the drier months of the season, there that is where we re really pick up. And if you see even our last, last year's performance, our highest, uh, you, you know, revenues have come in Q3 and Q4. So I think that trend will continue this year as well. Okay, so what's the growth you're looking at in terms of 24 then? So th this year as well, we will end up say 20% higher compared to last year. Right. Is where we... Yes. Right. So that's with regards to the overall business as well. Thank you, Siddharth, so much for joining us on the show. 20% growth in terms of FI24, that could be it.
and pretty close to the 4,000 crore order book is what they continue to aim for as well. So that's the management of Vascon and clearly 130% up move is what we've seen on the stock in the last six months. That's all that we have on this session. Thanks for watching and lots more lined up on the other side. Please stay tuned to BQ Prime.